And how are you doing? Look, today I just wanted to uh, do a, a little a little bit of a video on this bloke here. Now, I'm sure you all know who he is. Roidy Roidy, Mr. I pump shit at my arsehole to get buff. I mean, you can't deny it, he's built like a fucking unit, but it all came out, didn't it? You know, why would you lie when it's so clear you're on steroids? I mean, the big giveaway, I'm not sure if you know, is your abs do not look like that. Because steroids, they make your, you know, organs, probably your liver as well, ironically, expand. So you get fatter, basically. So you basically... Basically, I, I saw a video, you're lighting the candle from both sides by taking them, but yeah, your body, your choice, mate, but the problem with the fitness industry is people fucking lie, and this guy got exposed for lying, unsurprisingly, now, you know, he's, he can do everything under the sun, he's, um, you know, like, smaller than me, but built like a brick, so it's kind of funny, um, I just wanted to really have a look at some of this cringe that he does, actually, he's a bit of a, uh, a meme, shall we say, nothing better than a good meme, Do it myself. Do weird shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, what is he doing? That's why would I eat vegetables when I can have testicles? Yeah, this guy, why have vegetables when you can eat testicles? It's his little rhyme phrase, it's his little motto. It's kind of hilarious because I think everyone knows vegetables are good for you. Even fucking fat people who don't eat them know that they should. So I think he probably lost a lot of people's interest when he admitted that he'd rather eat a plate of testicles than a plate of vegetables. This guy contributes to half the global warming in the fucking world. I take PEDs. Yeah, I prioritize, execute, and Aww. dominate. See, this is before he, uh, yeah, nine months ago, he came out around Christmas, came out. <laughs> I am transgender. He came out as a steroid user. He pops shit out of his ass just to be buff. It's kind of hilarious. I mean, when it's so obvious as well, like, look at this bloke. And look, <laughs> I got that up because that's what he fucking looks like. He eats it raw. Like, he, he just takes a bite. Like, this bloke as well. He lives on, you know, his own block, his own estate. You know, this guy has, like, a mansion with acres of land. All this, that, and the other. And he has so much and he has everything. And I guess, oh, excuse me, and I guess the worst part was he, for a long time, said, the reason he looks like this is due to liver by my ancestral fucking pills. Pop that shit. Oh, through all the lies, through the bullshit, the, you know, the fake, the fake celebrity status. I still have to, have to admit, I do watch his fucking videos sometimes. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Now, why would I do that? The guy lies, bullshits. Clearly, you know, he's probably not as healthy as you probably think. But I still watch him. You know, what the fuck? And that's, I, I can't explain it either. I think it's fucking hilarious that I watch and waste my time with him. This is how we honor Memorial Day of honoring our early ancestors. And our recent ancestors. See, every trend will just jump on and try, you know, milk it. Thank you, ancestors. And, it, you know, his whole point is he's living like his ancestors because his ancestors had huge Jeep and RPGs and light machine guns that they went firing across. Here we go, right here. It's a prime testicle. Like, he's fucking nuts. If someone did this, and they weren't, you know, they didn't have fucking boobs the size of Kylie Jenner's, they'd be in a fucking mental asylum. They'd be in an institute, and they'd be told to stay there until you book your ideas up and switch your brain on, wouldn't they? They fucking would. He's nuts. I must need him all. And it's his own chef, you know what I mean? This is the type of money this bloke has, so... I'm not sure what he did before selling people pills. Is that all he's done? And it's bought him this incredible house? I mean, you know, maybe Wikipedia will tell us. So his cholesterol's high as fuck, probably. So he spent 11 grand on steroids, mate. 11,000 on steroids! Well, imagine what his fucking testicles look like. And then he got exposed. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. And he has these nine ancestral tenants. It's like Jesus. It's like following the Bible. Read these ancestral tenants and you shall find God. But look, it doesn't say what he does. So he has loads of followers. He does. I, I, yeah, and like I said, I just don't know how the fuck, why the fuck I watch him. Look, and he, the, the hilarious part is, this has got to be, he's more than six, he's like 150 days natty, which means naturale, which is fucking dog shit. He looks just as fucking lean and green and beefed out as fucking cleaned as he did before. I mean, you know, I can't say it's bullshit, that's not true, but you know what I mean? It's not like he's dipped here. 16 days, that doesn't count. 100 149 days. I mean, look at him there. Look at him. Do you think that's any more natural than me or you? And maybe you're not natural. Maybe you, you know. But look, like The Rock. He's on enough steroids to fucking sink Manhattan. If the amount of steroids he's putting in his body, his fucking testicles would be the size of your fail. The size of a pea. But look, I'm not really sure what the point of this was other than to have a laugh. 
I just look at that. Who wants who wants to eat that? Who's going, mmm, this looks tasty. I'm gonna follow this bloke and eat a massive monkfish. You know what I mean? Who's eating that dog? He loves saying that. More. And he gets his two slaves, aka kids, in the videos as well. Poor fucking whatever they're called. Terrible haircut, which is obviously to get the views up. And then they have to eat raw testicles. Raw testicles. Just smile and pretend this is amazing. I will wear my fucking raccoon hat that I got off Red Dead 2 and uh, sit here freezing my nuts off. But it's all worth it for the views, man. It's all worth it for the views.